I need Anton Sokolov, but he's missing. Held by another inventor named Kirin Jindosh, who no doubt wants whatever secrets Sokolov holds in his head. Jindosh is the mad inventor who armed Karnaka with clockwork killing machines, the city where I grew up and trained, where I won the Duke's tournament when I was still a boy. They say the clockwork soldiers are the equal of Karnaka's best fighters now. I'm going to put that to the test. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Anton back here, safe and sound. How did that old fool come to mean so much to me? You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms, just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Ademeyer. Dr. Hypatia seems better than when she first showed up. Is it truly possible the good doctor didn't know she was the crown killer? Maybe she just didn't want to. That woman worked so hard during the old Duke's reign. For the poorest people in the city. It's good you found a way to keep from cutting Hypatia's throat, despite the situation. And surprising, really. Mary of the Grand Guard, trying to keep me from leaving. Oh, you're here. Stay with me a moment. Hypatia, what can you remember? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He might be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But... something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me. But I owe you for helping me at Ademeyer. Thank you. My dreams are still filled with visions, some of which I'd sooner forget. When I first got here, I was in a daze, but I'm feeling better. I'm not sure how long I'll stay here, but I appreciate being away from Ademar. A few days recovery has helped. It might be the salty air or the rocking of the boat. Maybe just being around good people again. Maybe someday, Karnaka will return to the way it was under the old Duke, Theodanus. You be careful. Unless someone can correct all this, the next decade or more might be gloomy indeed. It's as if she's emerged from a long, black dream. The spirit has been unburdened, 
and as she's gaining strength each day, there's a sense within her of what she's done. But only impressions. And Patience's mood it improves. She looks forward to seeing Patience again. Already, she's thinking about an old patient suffering from boanthropy. She wants to know how the woman is progressing. Adamire solution. Uh, I hope it keeps you strong. Megan must be up on deck. That wasn't here before. Botany and diseases. Ramsey and the Crown Killer. Two pieces of the puzzle. More to go. As assassins go, the Crown Killer was messy. Vulgar. The Duke wanted people afraid. Hypatia did terrible things under the influence of her formula, but she's free now. We'll find you, Anton. Jindosh invented the silver graph. Clever man. His invention's likely to outlive him. Clockwork soldiers must cost a fortune. If Jindosh finds a way around that, he'll make an army. Jindosh lives in Upper Aventa. I'll have to take the carriage to reach his mansion. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? Let's go. All right, let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion. Harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. His home is supposed to be full of marvels. Locals go in as a test of courage or because they're desperate for a meal. Kids, even. People say you can hear them at night, pounding on the windows calling for help. The carriage will take you fairly close to the mansion. The Duke looks after people like Jindosh. When you're done, meet me back here. 
If you can't find a rewiring tool, then you manage to get to the other side of the Wall of Light. There should be a power source somewhere. A whale oil tank or windmill. Turning it off works just as good. And nobody gets burned to ashes. Careful with the Wall of Light. I once saw a kid dare his little brother to touch one of those things. A second later, nothing left but dust. The Duke's circle is full of clever bastards, all working for a percentage. But no one is like Jindosh. Not since Sokolov. Jindosh entered his clockwork soldiers in the Duke's tournament. The Blade Verbana. No one could beat them. You won that when you were 16, didn't you? A long time ago. A young man's game. Jindosh won't care who you are or what you want. To him, it's all a puzzle to work out. He looks at you like he wants to take you apart. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindosh, a prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater, playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since. Oh, my God. 
be time to spring for this fish cave. Dust everywhere, no matter what you do. This is the worst assignment. You look like you're doing pretty well. Why not give me a coin? Appreciate it. I'll let you in on a secret. I saw people coming and going recently, looking for whale oil, up to something. So many people legging it from the city. The Grand Guard and the Howler won't have anybody to tax or rob. Everybody's got the willies now. Feels like the city might collapse. I worked in the silver mines here until the dust got to my lungs. You watch yourself. The Grand Guard aren't too friendly to strangers.
impressive how you managed to get there. Be careful, those people in the oil tanks might still be around. You said whale oil. I got it for you. Not easy to pinch, either. No, you screwed up. It won't work without another tank, not enough blast. You gotta trust me on this. All right, all right. I don't know shit about explosives. Never said I did. I'll go out again later and find some more. Good. You can't rush jobs like this. It takes a smooth hand. You can't piss around here forever, either. Eventually, some wanker will see us and the howlers will catch wind. But I hear you. One more tank. Another of these shops was robbed. I'd hire guards if I could afford it. There's something familiar about you. I've been away from Karnaka for a long time. I need a rewire tool, like the ones used by the Grand Guard. No questions. Clear? Yes, sir. But I can't help you right now. I have people coming in, and I can't be responsible for their manners if you take my meaning. Paolo is coming by. See me later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Paolo is coming by. I think he's here. Hide yourself. They'll see you if you try to leave. Find a place to hide and we'll do business afterwards. I need eight new cutters, short blades, the good stuff, Morley steel. I know what you mean. Do you? Because last time you gave me some backwater foundry garbage that wouldn't hold an edge and snap against Grand Guard armor. I got taken on that deal too, but I'll make it up to you, Paolo. Pop off maybe 10%? 30, because I like you by next week. That's fair. I made a bad faith trade and I regret it. You'll have the cutters, I promise. Good, good. These are strange times. Overseers in the Dust District, a witch empress, and these clockwork soldiers protecting the aristocracy. All bad for business. But if I get my way, Karnaka will be a different city a year from now. I need protection. The Grand Guard doesn't do its job. <clears throat> ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. You won't be sorry. A pleasure to do business.
I shouldn't deal with strangers. Riches, but not, not all get a seat at the banquet table. Somewhere near they hold hands, they drink poison together. This old couple, a banker tricked them out of their home. Look at me, he thinks now of a poem he once read. On the waters, far from home. Upon the wind did it ride. He has made the howlers into something more than just a street gang. He is clever, this one. With aspirations. You'd be surprised how high up he wants to be. The howlers are his family. He's done terrible things to protect them. He believes he could run Sakonos better than the Duke. He has a secret that will save his life only once each day. It is well known throughout Karnaka as a man who can get things done. Even the new Duke has him like him. There is someone he needs to check on. He wonders. If the moonstruck man has enough food and water, some business with the Duke, an ongoing arrangement, I don't know. It involves one whose mind has been injured. I didn't see it at first, but there is magic at work here. He uses charms made of bone. He uses them well. Paolo. He helped a blind woodcarver across the street. The same day he assassinated a barrister. He gets another star tattooed across his back every time he claims a life. A constellation of woe. He's thinking these are dangerous times. And now Mindy will take care of the Howlers. Should anything happen to him, I've already told you about this man. Who do we have here? What's the mask for? Walk on. You won't like how this ends. Oh, that's not how it ends? How does it end then? With an old man giving me advice in my own damn city, then being force-fed his ugly mask. Because that sounds like something I'd like a lot. Beat it. This will be your only warning. Should have come through already. Hush. You'll tip off the mark. How long are we gonna wait for some lost aristocrat to stumble through? Long as it takes. You wanna eat, right? Maybe this ain't such a good spot for an ambush. Guards shaking people down. More blood flies this year. People just ain't walking the streets anymore. Getting hard to make a decent living. 